Hi, I'm Jack Polson, and the purpose of this jolt is to walk you through what is arguably the most important step when designing a distributed memory algorithm. In particular, we're going to talk about several different data distributions for a fundamental but um, very simple operation, namely dense matrix vector multiplication. So we're going to use very simple cost analysis in order to talk about why one data distribution is preferable to another. For the rest of this video, we're going to repeatedly make use of a very rough cost analysis for two very fundamental operations. In particular, those are all gather and reduce scatter. So we went over all gather in a little bit more detail in the previous jolt on collective communication. So if you're at all not familiar with this, please go back to the, the previous jolt. Okay, so in summary, what it does is if we have a vector of length n, and in this case we have a diagram set up for four processes then what we can do is split that message up into four different pieces. So let's call those four different pieces A, B, C, and D. So if we suppose that each of these four processes had one of those pieces, say process 0 gets uh, piece A, process 1 gets piece B, etc., then the purpose of an all gather is to perform all the necessary communication so that every process has a copy of both A, B, C, and D, which you can see on the right. So the other operation that we're going to need to make use of is a reduced scatter. So it's essentially the same except for we start off with different data for each of these vectors. So let's say we have A0, 1, 2, and 3, then B0, 1, 2, and 3, etc. cetera. Um, and what we want to do is to sum each of these different contributions, if you will, to A, B, C, and D, and then give the result of that summation to one process. So you can think of going in the opposite direction to give uh, process 0 the sum of A0 through A3, and then process 1 the sum of B0 through B3. Okay, so what's important is that it's the exact same communication steps as in all gather, essentially run in reverse. And so for both of these algorithms, if we go through the, the alpha plus beta n cost model, what we'll see is that the latency cost can be as low as alpha times log 2 of p if there are p processes. And then the volume cost will look roughly like beta times n if the total length of this vector is n. Okay, so just using this simple analysis, we'll see that we can conclude that a two-dimensional data distribution is necessary in order to perform dense matrix vector multiplication in a scalable way.